Among all the high school football games that took place last night, one's a little bittersweet for players and fans. That be, that's because it may have been the school's last home football game ever. I want to news reporter Marilyn Scherer has the story from Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. As you might imagine, the proposal to close Warwick Vets High School and repurpose it within the district is a hot button issue among many of the people attending the home game. In fact, we were hard pressed to find anyone who supports it. The Warwick Vets Hurricanes were fighting to overcome a deficit against the Johnston Panthers at Friday night's homecoming game, which may be the last home game ever played at the high school. The entire community is facing its own fight that involves closing the high school. I'd like to see the data saying that it's really going to save all this much money, mm -hmm. and I'd like to see the long-term effects that it would have on the students. I don't, I haven't heard anything about that. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot about money. Leah Hazelwood says she wants more information to back up the long-term planning committee's decision to close vets and reopen it as a junior high. Vets alumni Gary Costantino agrees. He's making a documentary on the decision, which he calls a bad one. They need to close the right school. I'm not saying uh, Pilgrim should be closed, Toge should be closed, vets should be closed, but they need to do the proper studies to make sure that the right one is closed. They're going to make this a junior high school, which is good. They're going to combine them. I, I agree with that. Principal Jerry Habershaw says he has a gag order to keep silent on the issue, but junior Brittany Tarsenko says it's a terrible decision to move students around. I think I might get stuck going to Pilgrim, which is kind of upsetting too because I don't want to go to a different school. I just, I love everything about being here. Mm -hmm. It's like a family. Now, according to the school's principal who said he couldn't speak on camera because he has a gag order, there's no final decision yet on when the school committee may vote, but he does tell me that there will be some open hearing held before that final vote is made. Reporting with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shara, Eyewitness News.